Hi guys, this is Chris Stafford, the founder of Massive Abundance. And what I do is I teach entrepreneurs the seven critical steps, the seven critical principles that they need to master so that they can have an amazing business and a rocking life at the same time. And you know what, I was interviewing a, a friend of mine, uh, Kevin, recently, and Kevin said to me, we were talking about hobbies, and he has managed to change a hobby, start a business from a hobby. He actually started tinkering around with antiques. He actually buys antiques from across Europe, uh, from Asia, but he started just as a lark, and he started buying these uh, antiques, especially in England, and he turned this thing into the most successful business. And I asked Kevin, you know, give me some of like the, the five best tips, if you will, because I know many of you out there want to become an entrepreneur, you want to start your own business, and of course, you know me, you want to do it with passion, right? You want to do it with something that you really know really well and something that you're good with. So I asked Kevin, you know, what are the five tips that he has to turn your hobby into a business? And he said the very first thing that he said was you have to make sure that you know your suppliers and make sure that you cultivate relationships with these suppliers. So for instance, Kevin started this hobby actually purchasing all these beautiful antiques. And I'm talking about everything from furniture, pieces of furniture, to small little knickknacks that are only two, three inches tall. And he would scout flea markets all over England. He would do this for fun. He would do this on his vacation. And he developed these great relationships. And you know, one of the things when I was working at PricewaterhouseCoopers as an auditor, we would call it concentration risk. You don't want to be just so concentrated in one particular area with one particular revenue stream that you lose that revenue stream and you're out of business. And the same concept applies here. You want to have a supplier chain and know a lot of different suppliers that can really supply the things that you want to sell on eBay, for instance, if this is the business that you're trying to start. So that's tip number one is make sure that you definitely have uh, the, the relationships, that you're cultivating the relationships with your supplier. Number two is really to buy right. You know, you really need to do some research and do your studying as to what are you going to sell, what is really the intrinsic value, and what's the value out there. Does it make a lot more sense if you're starting a toy business, a, a resale toy business, for instance, that you buy a lot of old antique toys that are small and that have small price tags or does it make more sense for you to and will you be able to make more money buying little bits of larger items or things that have larger price tags so really doing the research with your products and knowing what you can sell out there is the second big tip number three is big time stay on top of marketing just like any other business if you want to turn a hobby into a business you have to put yourself out there I mean, you really have to be there on Facebook and Twitter and promoting your stuff and doing internet marketing, doing, I don't know, pass out flyers, whatever you're comfortable with. We talk a lot on this uh, blog, actually, about a lot of different marketing tips that people do. But you want to make sure that your hobby turns into a business. And people, business means money. You have to make money with this thing. Otherwise, all you have is a super glorified, expensive hobby and that's all you have so in that vein too tip number four is watch your cash flow you want to be really careful that you are able to sell this stuff you know Kevin's turned this whole thing into a huge business right now where he actually buys the stuff in England has it shipped over here he's got a lot of money that he's got sitting there for a, quite a long time before he actually sees actual customer moolah customer cash coming through the door you need to plan accordingly so it's very important that you watch your, watch your cash flow. I think the other thing, too, that goes along with passion, and I think that this is Kevin's fifth tip out of the five, and that is stick with what you know. You know, if you want to start a business making cupcakes, but you hate to bake, well, that's going to be a problem. Or if you want to start with antiques, or you want to start selling toys or whatever, and you could care less, you could give a rat's ass about any of it, well then you're probably not going to succeed in that, if you know what I mean. So stick with what you know. Stick, most importantly, not even with what you know, but what really interests you, what you're really passionate about, because that passion will fuel the time that you really probably need to spend in the research so that you can get your cash flow done and your marketing and knowing your suppliers and everything else that we've talked about. So if you want to turn your hobby into a business, 
Listen to my friend Kevin and these uh, five points. I hope this is helpful for you. My name is Chris Stafford with Massive Abundance, and may Massive Abundance be yours. Thanks so much.